Hi, I'm David Wiegener. I come to you all the way from Christchurch, New Zealand. Not literally, of course. Here I have what I would classify as an easy problem, or maybe it's a medium problem, or maybe it's a hard problem. Because, first of all, why is to win in about three moves? Okay? Um, Obviously white has a one position, so if they rally the rook away somewhere, or their king, they they can more or less win this position. Okay, but that's not the problem. The problem is, how does white sort of force it? How does white force a checkmate in about three moves? Or maybe even four moves. It might be four moves. So how does White achieve checkmate here from this position? Now I've shown a strong Fide Master from New Zealand this position, and he said, or so said to me, well, it's a one position for White, isn't it? Let's face it. Yes, correct. But the idea of this position is that it's a problem and one needs to look at it in that um, light. So, if white would play rook here, it's stalemate. Because that will not do, will it? So, white, if they want a stalemate, can play that move and it's stalemate. But that's not the answer to the problem. Now, also, if white moves their rook here, okay, it's stalemate too. So white has to be very, very careful not to just bang the move out and hope that it's okay or not. So, if we had a white squared bishop here, or here, or here, or here, and then blacks to move instead of white, then g3 is the only move for black here, because all the other moves, these pawns are impossible to move, and this king is impossible to move, because it can't go near my king, or, or white's king, and it can't go near the rook either, the rook's along that line. So if there was a bishop here or here or here or here or queen here or here or here or here or a knight here is checkmate or a knight here is checkmate and else it's um, almost stomach but if there was a bishop here or here or here then g3 white would have um, basically hg3 checkmate because the king would not be which is check and checkmate the king would not be able to move here and it's checked, so the king has to react, or we have to react to the check. The king wouldn't be able to move here, because there's a bishop along here. So if we've got a knight, and it's transfer chess, as it's called in New Zealand, then we would be able to, if it's white's moving off, got a knight in my hand, example, imagine, and it's transfer chess, I'd be able to place a knight on g6, and it's checkmate. So we have this problem here, so I'm going to give at about 30 seconds and then I'm going to give the the solution which is forced and then after that or before that you might like to pause or freeze your PC computer or whatever or your tablet or phone blah 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 to have a look at this later on or now today so I do um, really want to say I'm really really impressed with the crowd of juniors that I met from the school pupil teams championships in New Zealand that they played uh, in my books they're all champions they're, they're just absolutely brilliant I met some really really great kids on sun uh, Saturday not Sunday because it didn't go for um, my aforementioned reasons. So anyway, 
I am now going to be quiet for a few minutes. I mean, not a few minutes, about 20 seconds or so. And then after that, I'm going to show you the, the moves for white here to deliver checkmate in uh, four moves. Right now, so if you don't want to see the 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 moves for white, there's only we've only got um, we've only got about twenty altogether moves for white. White could play h3, um, pawn h3, could play king back. If king back, then we got pawn to g3, only move and hg3 or something like that that might be the move but it isn't so here we come sorry about the um, ramble a little bit but that's just the way it is um, so here we come with the result and the fine way that white wins here and like I said already aforementioned black is obviously in a lost position but white has to still be careful so here we go. This is a check. Now the pawn can take but the king cannot obviously. Okay. And so the king can't move anywhere other than king takes rook but it can't do that because it's an ill eagle move. So the only thing that black can do here is g h3 check oh we got a check then the king suffocates the black king the white king does if it goes here it's a win for black but it goes king here from here goes king f3 this now forces black's hand to play the only move available which is g4 now I would like for you to find the next two moves for white which lead to checkmate. So what does white do now? Run away? Possibly. White plays king to f4 now. See, white has black in what is called the, by the German word Zwugzwang. Z -U -Z G Z W A N G Zwugs Zwang, which is you cannot say in chess, I'll miss a turn, I'll miss a turn, unless it's certain games. You cannot miss a turn, you have to move. There's a compulsion to move, and and you're putting yourself in great danger once black plays G3 not king here because then white's going to be lost again but checkmate so isn't that nice that's the compulsion to move in chess is called swingfron that's what i might title this easy plus um problem for you today i might title that now if the king wasn't here and it's somewhere here, then white would be met with h2 now. But that's not the case. So that's quite a nice wee little problem. Um, the chances of it coming about are, are somewhat slim. Okay, so that's that. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. And again, welcome to my new subscribers and any of my other subscribers too. Or if you're just casually watching it, I hope you enjoyed that short wee video.